Hello, and welcome to our HPC Cloud Penguin Computing on Demand, or POD. This video will show you several of the great features of POD that enable you to easily run your jobs and manage an account with one user or many users. To set up an account on POD, you fill out a simple form on our website. Once you've set up your username and password, you're taken to the account overview page. The account overview page gives you a snapshot of your current usage for the month, the resources you've set up on one of the two clusters, and a list of your users, if any. Now navigate over to the usage report tabs for a more detailed view of your monthly usage. Here you have information about your current usage again. You have a graphical snapshot that you can hover over and toggle for more detailed information on a daily basis. You also have information about compute usage and storage detail for each of your users and for each of the login nodes that you've checked out. You can download reports by month for the current month and past month. You can also custom create a report based on date ranges. Now let's go back to the account overview page. And from here, we can click on the users and groups. Here, you can invite users in by simply sending them an email. You can see your list of current users, and you can see the different groups you've set up and what users are in your groups. You can also set up usage alerts. You can set up usage alerts for the whole account, for individual users, and for the groups. If you toggle the notification button, you'll be notified when users reach the 80, 90, and 100% thresholds. You can access POD to launch your jobs in one of three ways. Via the self-service portal that we're in now, by the remote desktop, or by SSHing into the cluster. To launch a job from the POD portal, you click on the job manager, click New Job, click Create New, and you're taken to a self-service fill-in-the-blank GUI to help you set up and launch your job. Once your job is launched, the status and results of the job will appear on your Job Manager page, and once the job is completed, it will be added to the total for your month. You have a choice of resources on POD, POD is comprised of two clusters, both of which are located in a secure data center in Bluffdale, Utah. Penguin Computing owns and operates these clusters, so you always know where your jobs are located and where your data resides. To view a complete list of the compute options, click on All Articles, then click on Pod Queues. Here you will see detailed information about the various pod queues. You can see that they're organized by CPU architecture and queue location. POD has two clusters. MT1 contains the Haswell, Sandy Bridge, and Westmere nodes. MT2 contains the Skylake and Broadwell cores. Both the clusters have a high-speed interconnect, either QDR and Finiband, or Intel OmniPath, and high-speed storage file systems. There are hundreds of applications pre-installed and ready to run on POD. To view a partial list of the applications on POD, click on the Application slash Libraries button. And here you'll see the applications organized by discipline, engineering, weather and climate, life sciences, general science applications, compilers, and language tools. This is just a partial list. To see a complete list, you can run a module avail command once you've logged into POD. We hope that this overview helps you further understand the many features of POD. You can sign up today for a free trial account and try POD for yourself. Thank you.